Jimmy. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing this Friday afternoon? It is July 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th, but I don't believe in that crap, so let's move right along. Um, as you can see, on my desktop, I have open, what did we show here? We got Ustream open, we got Cam Twist, and we got a little go to meeting down, go to meeting window down here. You might ask yourself, what the heck is going on? Well, what's going on is me and my man, Derek, um, we're doing a little experiment because we're going to be not only using GoToMeeting to do online meetings, but we want to see that we can, through those online meetings, we want to be able to broadcast live via Ustream, which is this window right here. Ustream is up. And if you notice window down here, go to meeting. This is so we can have up to 25 people on a meeting. The cool part about go to meeting, I'm going to move my mouse. See my mouse? I'm going to move it right over here and bring this window out. That This is go to meetings interface. This allows you to share your desktop. This allows you to um, stop showing your screen, give keyboard and mouse control to one of your presenters. I'm listed right now as the organizer of the meeting as well as the presenter. I can make anyone I want that's on this list a presenter. In other words, I can organize a meeting but give the uh, ability for the person to be the presenter. In other words, on their computer, they can have slides or they can have files and stuff like that. Excuse me. They can have slides and files and stuff like that they can, that they can share with people in their meeting. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, what about Ustream? Well, for people that want to watch the meeting and not ap actively participate. In other words, you, you know, it just came to me because where would this come in handy? You know how when you have board meetings and you talk to your board, um, the directors sit up front and the board is sitting out in the audience or the stockholders. Well, stockholders may just want to watch the meeting. Um, more serious stockholders may want to be involved in the meeting. So they would, uh, they would, they would log in via go to meeting and be able to actually log in and interact with the presenter. Okay. Um, this white window back here, all, I'm, I'm going to close this go to meeting or shrink it. This white window back here, as you can see, it says Camp Twist Studio. This is basically my television studio. Yes, this is all it takes to broadcast over the internet. Um, as you can see, I have my Canon DV camera. That's this camera right here. I do have an eyesight camera in front of me that for some reason um, with go to meeting up, it's limiting cam twist because when I click on eyesight here, this should show, see how it's black right now? This should actually be showing what's broadcasting on this front camera, but it's not. So I got I to gotta troubleshoot that. But what it can do is my lower third here still works, which is really cool. See, it says Victor Orlando host, and I'll just cut in. I sent the camera out, so I want to cut that. All right, hold up. I want to make sure both these are on at the same time. There you go. That's how you make sure they're both up. Well, all right, let's bring the camera up. Here's the camera. Make sure that's, uh, what is it, red? And then I'm going to say lower third. See, this window over here is the window that's what's about to go online about to, what's about to be broadcast this window is what's being broadcast so i'm trying to broadcast my lower third with the video there it goes see so you know how you want to slide in a lower third or slide it out uh, or slide in some type of info at the bottom there there you go that's what that's what that's for when it's orange i cut it away it can, it'll go away you know what i mean um I can click on desktop here, and which is what's really cool about clicking on a desktop. You see this desktop came up in the preview window? I can slide that in over top of the video, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, that takes over the video, but it's showing my desktop now. I don't want to keep that up there, so actually that's not. I want to I wanna slide this out, slide that in. My computer's moving a little slow because one, even with all three of these programs up, 
I only I only have a four gig Mac, um, and it operates pretty well to be honest with you. The lag is not that bad, but it can be better. At this point, I'm not broadcasting on YouTube. I'm gonna click the broadcast button now, and this should go is broadcasting right now and I'm going to click record. Not only do I want to record via ScreenFlow, which I'm I'm doing a screen recording of this right now, but I want to also record and have it on um Ustream. Because the reason for Ustream and the reason I didn't start recording right off the bat is because I want to see what the lag is like via Ustream with go to meeting open down here with Cam twist open. Oh, you know, on a Mac, if you know anything about a Mac, I got my magic windows. When I hit the corner over here, um, it will show that. But I want to make sure that everything is working properly. I even have this, that TV you see behind me, that's a second monitor. That monitor, if you come up here, uh, where are we at? Let's see. Is that it? Nope. Right here. See, this is my television. I can actually broadcast that as well if I want to. Um, I don't have a need to do that right now, but I can if I wanted to. Um, so the purpose of opening up Ustream, like I was saying, is to see what the, to see if it's laggy. I don't want it to be laggy um, because if it's laggy, either I got to up my RAM or my internet connection will have to be an internet better internet connection. And I'm actually right now on a cable modem, which works okay i mean ustream has always been a little laggy um that's why i prefer just doing a video and putting it up on youtube and having it be pre-recorded because that live streaming is just like sometimes it's just a pain in the okay you know what i'm talking about anyway um so you might be wondering let's check out go to meeting i don't have anyone in my meeting right now um a buddy i was supposed to be in, in the meeting with me it's kind of busy. Anyway, when someone logs in, they would, their name would show up right here. Um, you would see them in this window. I'd pull this down a little bit. Their camera would be above or below me, which would be kind, of, which is cool. Only one thing I noticed that's different with GoToMeeting compared to UStream and CamTwist is the pictures reverse. Why I don't know. I'm not trying to try and figure it out. It's all good. I mean, really, GoToMeeting is more like a present more for like presentation and stuff like that i'm gonna tell you something i tried the other night with my buddy um this telephone feature right here it says use telephone where you can actually have people dial in to the meeting it is amazing quality uh, the, the audio is amazing quality i, I we, it would just blew us away we were like yo that's awesome you know anyway um it's not a complete tutorial because what I want to I want to make sure I have someone else in the meeting with me I, we actually want to connect also we want to basically we want to be broadcasting video in our TV studio which is cam twist out to you stream doing a meeting and we want to be on blog radio doing a actual radio blog so there will be four things going on when we get this fully running and fully operational and when it's up and running it will be amazing what you can do on the internet and how many people you can reach anyway folks um i hope that helped you out yes i'll probably gonna i'm probably gonna make a tutorial where i'm opening each program so you can just see i mean it's not that hard you always open camp twist first i open ustream then i open go to meeting and then I'd probably open my blog radio application. Um, that's web web based anyway, but it's not hard to open up your programs and get the thing rolling. And like I said, you click the broadcast button, click the record button, and you're off to the races. So I'm gonna say stop recording. I'm gonna save this. Uh let's see. What do we want to save it as? Uh test video for uh, multiple 
sources. Okay, that's cool. Um, I can add, I'm gonna say video, I can add keywords later, just say save. I'm gonna say stop broadcasting, so I'm no longer broadcasting on Ustream, but if you notice this icon, if you're familiar with this program, ScreenFlow right down here, that icon is still recording the screen recording and um, it's, I mean, screen recordings I found out are amazing and it's nothing like them, but what is coming up right, what's coming up real close behind it is this go to meeting. You can actually do a live screencast via go to meeting, which is pretty amazing, man. Um, you can share, you can show files, people can view your files and what have you. You know, I mean, it's just awesome. Like, if I opened up any of these programs down here and I said share my desktop, I'm going to go back over here with you real quick. And I said show main screen, it would show anything that's on this screen, which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. You know, so, I mean, go to meeting, camp twist, Ustream, blog radio, boom, popping later. Oh, I forgot to say, man. I haven't been on. I haven't made a video in so long. I said later, huh? Nah, I forgot to say. That's a wrap. I almost said later, too. Bye.